So, how's this work? Do we get a table, stand in a corner? Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien... Okay, so, what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Oh, no, that's just... That's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I've just been lying awake, thinking about what June Lay said, and... feeling my heart shake. Oh, wow! You remembered! Well, that's fruit and such, right? Okay, wine it is. Bottoms up! Purpleberry wine's all right if you require a sweetness to your spirits. Seems like a drink that would suit you, Miss Holcomb. Just mind how much you imbibe. Wow, this is really kind of nice, actually. Who'd have guessed old fruit could taste so good? Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Huh. Yeah. I guess we are that, huh? Friends. Friends give each other counsel, right? What do you think I should do about Jun Lei? Because I feel about as aimless as an automech with a busted nav chip. I give counsel to plenty of folks I don't consider to be friends. If you need an ear, Ms. Holcomb, I'm listening. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink! Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Good call. It's best to proceed with a light hand the first time. Shush you. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? Oh, there's nothing easy about... About spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? What do you mean, Captain? So if I'm doing my very best to be kind and open-hearted, I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me? Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh gosh, I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Well, it's not like I could be elsewhere. Nor am I capable of neglecting a wayward lamb in need of guidance.
Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Step lively, Ms. Holcomb. I I'm not winded. Honest. My, uh, boot was untied. Would hate for you to get left behind, or architect forbid, become lost. Great work. There it is. Just yank. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bitcart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Were you really in jail, Mr. Max? And you were our vicar? Yes, but as I've repeatedly said, I was assigned there as a vicar. I was not a prisoner. I just can't believe you'd lie. I was not lying. It had no bearing on my ability to minister to my flock, and was therefore not worth mentioning. Oh, your face is a sight for sore ocular processors, Captain. Or rather, your headgear is. How can I be of assistance? The unit is a cleaning SAM. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify SAM. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for SAM to properly operate. Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? We are cleared to dock with the Groundbreaker if that's your desired destination. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardettes take their docking laws quite seriously. I can, yes. Let me add that to my list of 1,435,498 tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. You are more than welcome, Captain. Of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Ah, yes. As Dr. Wells is a wanted outlaw, he built his laboratory into an asteroid. Orbital destinations can be challenging to land on, his more so than most. The outlaw scientist known as Dr. Phineas V. Wells has taken a measure of precautions to make the lab undetectable to those hunting him. Even knowing the location, my systems 
resist my orders to go where I instruct them. There is a bounty on his head, one with a markedly high reward amount. Shall I engage the laser weapon system? A sensible choice, as we do not have any laser weapons. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me, it's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand... I'm your man! That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? The fun kind? I mean, what else do you do when you got a ship of your own? Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. Well, this'll be interesting, huh? Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. I was thinking about what you said before, after we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and, and ask Junlei to go steady straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is... I can't ask her over like... like this. I mean, look at me! I'm all covered in engine grease, and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days, and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for... bath supplies? Oh, that nice older lady in the rest and go, Miss Gladys? She seemed to know lots of things. Maybe she knows where to find fancy soap. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Cause I wanna come with. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy-like, ain't it? Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad'd say. What, just because he scrubs the floors means he can't be a pleasant fella too? You should try talking to him. You'll see. He's a hoot. Back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? A neutron walks into a bar and asks, How much for a Rizzo's rum and something? 
Leering, the bartender replies, For you, no charge. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Mm hmm. What you reading, Max? If I tell you, will you leave me alone? Probably not. What is it with you and books, anyway? Some of us like to improve ourselves, Dr. Fenhill. No, I mean keeping those paper books. You got the data pad. Why waste the cargo space? Dust accumulation analysis. 2.5 years. Error. This unit is unable to process the service request. Ah! Customer, please repeat the command. Good to see you, boss. Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. No, boss, not really. I was a... What's the word? Deflecting. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. That's what they called us. Orphans with no family, no company to take us in, nowhere to go but the back bays. The word's a touch kindlier than rung leech, but the meaning's just as clear. If you can't support your own self, you don't deserve to be on the Groundbreaker. Same way we all do. Look for work and hope somebody would give me a shot. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. The foreman and I never got on. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint. But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick, that felt good. That felt real good. You ought to try it. Yeah, I mean, in theory. But I wouldn't have felt half as good. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Yeah, I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. What do you want, then? My hard-earned wisdom? Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch, but who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. Go right ahead, sweetheart. Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. I also knit throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. 
But that's more of a passion project. So that's what that smell is. Sometimes the hairs poke out between the seams, but I don't mind. That's what the law gave us matches for. But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Oh, I'm sorry. Was this your room? I'll just move along. Wait, this is almost certainly my room. That's my underwear on the floor. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Hey, Doc Fenhill. Glad to see you ain't moved on from Groundbreaker yet. Hey, Tobias. How's the leg? Good as you left it, ma'am. Still bends and everything. Took some extra lead while I was on a job. Ellie here patching me up good. The other guy thought his ship was perfectly operational. I told him it was salvage. We disagreed. I won. Workplace hazards, Captain. Pretty routine around here. Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Not a word. Pity. My guy in marketing is about to lose his other thumb. It's nice to see the unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? First, an embargo that's been active ever since the board pulled its forces off world. Few regulations, plenty of freedom. And second, all the goodies that no one had time to pack. I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors, where I can let my hair down. Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least, that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. Thank you. I work hard to keep it that way. Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets, grids in general. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon, but I'll settle for being the most organized one. Hey, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. Ask. I have nothing to hide. Be seeing you. 
Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. This roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call, and whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. You're saying he walked into a communications tower, turned on the transmitter, held down the talk button, and sent half a message by accident? Oh, I'm judging all right. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. No security. Not that I'm complaining. Something on your mind? I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. Well, my blood type is AB positive. I'm a Leo and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Aw, oh, come on. That stuff's boring. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. Sure do. Some of it was even legal. What gave it away? It's the hair, right? Or maybe the ammo belt? I had it custom made. Gotta advertise your business somehow. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. Glad to hear it. It's worked for me this long. It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero-G brew with some Spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purple berry shake if you're not. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. No complaints here. They call that a parking job? These pirates are making the rest of us look bad. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Somehow, I'm not reassured, Captain. Yeah, you and me both, ma'am. Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. 
Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Um, forget I said anything about that. Wish they tasted like Sisty Pig. <laughs> Them's good eating. Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Anything else you'd like to know? Oh, before I forget, Antique Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. We are experiencing a security event, sir and or madam. Please vacate the premises immediately and return to your domicile or designated workplace. I'm not allowed to answer questions without a signed affidavit from my superior officer. But he got eaten by raps, so I guess it's okay. I am not allowed to disclose the details of my contract. If you are unhappy with the quality of my work, please submit a complaint to Anti Cleo's Department of Employee Conduct. Please remember that Anti Cleo Pharmaceuticals is not responsible for any loss of life or grievous physical injury sustained while on company premises. I have strict orders not to talk about anything that happens in a classified area. Roseway Lab is a highly classified facility. I am not allowed to confirm or deny its alleged existence. You're underestimating the importance of the eighth back. Blankenship, she's okay, but Lunsford has the highest rate of foot goals per game. But if you cross-reference with the skills of the opposing team, his hand goal rate plummets. What? <sighs> Lunsford plays worse against better teams. Blankenship plays better. The stats are better on the spacers chosen. My model predicts this week. <laughs> The best way to win a game is by getting the most body goals. Hmm, risky. Year over size analysis proves that body goal attempts fail 60% more than foot goals. And that's why the 32nd back needs to be on point at all times. They keep the wingers from bronzing the forwards. It's statistically improbable that any 32nd back could cover every potential winger. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Y yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Uh, yeah. We're not all as simple as the captain. What's actually going on here, Anton? I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. Those need not be mutually exclusive. My work would benefit everyone, and not just within our colony. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us. Shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make this situation any worse. All right, we were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. 
toothpaste? One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Not just any diet toothpaste, the ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh, I am certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson. He's in the old lab. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. You don't understand. He was my responsibility. All of the people stationed here were, are, regardless of their thinking on the matter. If he has died, too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name. And far too much paperwork. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. It's just that their constant complaining can begin to wear. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. It's infuriating. And my colleague, Jameson, will you find him for me? Fifty bit says this guy's already wrapped fodder. Something on your mind? You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. Sure, loyal company fella. That's me. Auntie knows best. Look, I don't want to go back out there, but there's a thing I gotta do. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, um, benefits. Extract and how? No, wait, maybe I don't want to know. In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, enhance your charisma. Oh, for... He's making an raptured, Captain. An aphrodisiac. Wrapped musk is the main ingredient. What? No? I mean, yes, I'm getting the musk. With Monarch Embargo, the price is sky high, but I'm not making the drug. The results are outside the margin of error. Technically. Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab, the one past that, built into the mountainside. The newer lab is built for, um, more sensitive work. We mostly use the old lab for storage these days. Uh, don't mention this to Anton, okay? He's kind of a tight ass about the lab. Like, squeeze coal into diamond tight. My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. 
dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. If you have a buyer. I got a contact who wants to haul the entire batch to Byzantium. Help me out, I'll cut you in for a share. I'll even pay you before I am, when you deliver to me. Great! <laughs> this is really gonna save my ass.